All right, so uh, we're here at BAMA. I'm Lindsay Anderson, editor of Access Lift and Handlers, and I'm sitting with Brad Bueller, president of Skyjack. And uh, I just wanted to know, Brad, so how's the show been going? The show's been fabulous. Um, you know, this is the first time we've been indoors. Um, I was maybe a little uh, worried that we might not get the, the traffic that we would normally expect, but uh, no, it's been, we've been full every day. Uh, we had a, an event last evening that was completely jam full, and so no, traffic's been great, the show's been great so far. You've debuted some new technology. We're sitting in front of it. It's uh, a scissor that is autonomous. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure, absolutely. So we have here um, our, one of our first steps towards uh, autonomy for a variety of machines, right? And so as a bit of proof of concept, uh, this machine will do a self-diagnostic uh, on command from a, an application from a, from a mobile device. And so ultimately we see that as, as benefit to rental companies in the future, um, being able to um, take less time to maintain machines, allowing the machines to give you more information about what they're doing and what their state of health is. And so um, again, it's just kind of the first proof of concept of that, but uh, we're, we're well on our way to working towards machines that will do a variety of different tasks uh, autonomously. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Stand clear. Self-check commencing. Driving forward. Reversing. Steering left. Steering right. Raising platform. Lowering platform. Self-check complete. Battery test commencing. Battery test complete. Hasta la vista, baby. And you've also showed your biggest scissor lift to date uh, that's sitting right over there. But you mentioned you might have a bigger one coming up. Can you give us some teasers on it? Yes, I can. So there is uh, that 9253 is, is sitting right over there. And yes, that is uh, a little bit higher than we've ever gone before. Um, you know, we felt it was, well, there are a lot of changes in the North American marketplace, driving a lot of changes to our machinery. Uh, so we took that opportunity to redesign a, a line of uh, rough terrain scissors, our full-size rough terrain scissors uh, that had not had any real engineering attention probably for a couple of decades. They were so well built in the first place they didn't really need it, but uh, we felt it was time to redesign and yes, so ultimately that's going to come out with a family of a 33-foot uh, uh, machine, a 43-foot machine, the 53 that you see here and followed up very quickly with a 63-foot machine as well. So. Yes. And lastly, can you just tell us about the North American market, how you see access playing out the rest of the year and um, coming up in 2020? Yes, it's this year. I, I think it's uh, there's still room for a little growth this year. Honestly, um, you know, there's a lot of different uh, economic factors at play right now, um, but but it does still still seem to be optimistic, and people, uh, you know, are, are spending capex and uh, projecting that they have capex, and their customers are projecting that they have uh, infrastructure to build and, and site uh, sight lines towards projects that are lasting for the next you know 12 to 18 months. So there's a lot of work uh, yet in the North American marketplace and uh, you know again I'm still optimistic that uh, that's going to come to fruition and we'll have another good growth year uh, maybe maybe not as much growth as some of the past years but it's still continuing to grow. All right Brad we really appreciate your time and hope the rest of the show goes well for you. There you go thank you Thanks. take care.